hello from the city known as Vancouver, which sits on the unceded ancestral homelands of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh peoples. I am amazed to be giving this speech. Winning the Bronwyn Wallace Award is a tremendous and completely unexpected honor, and I am simply filled with gratitude to the very hardworking and cheerful team at the Writers' Trust of Canada and to prize sponsor RBC. I am beyond grateful to the jury, John Elizabeth Stinzi, Zalika Reed Benta, and J.R. McConvey. Thank you for letting this story into your hearts. Huge congratulations to fellow nominees Carolyn Chung and Joshua Wales on the recognition of your beautiful work. It is deeply moving to receive the award that carries Bronwyn Wallace's name. I am so inspired by the advocacy work Bronwyn Wallace did and the truths she spoke. Thank you to Carolyn Smart and the other founders of this generous and important award. I would also like to take a moment to thank Jade Wallace and the co-signers of the open letter to lift the age limit on prize eligibility. The world you advocated for is one that included someone like me. I am so grateful for that collective vision and will continue to work towards a more equitable literary landscape for all. Immense thanks to every one of you. Writing is very lonely work but I have had the incredible luck of finding wise and good community along the way. I would like to thank my writing group, Zoe, Doretta, Clea, Teo. Your words and actions inspire me and fill my heart. Larry, David, your kindness and gentle encouragement keeps me going on the days when it would have been far easier to stop. As well, great thanks to my peers and professors at UBC Creative Writing, especially my very patient thesis advisory committee of Linda, Annabelle, and Keith. I couldn't accept this award without thanking my family. Mom, Dad, Teo, and Malati, thank you for the companionship, curiosity, and support on our many, many adventures. Thank you to my friends and family, most especially to both of my children. Thank you for your patience with this time-consuming urge to share stories. None of this work would have been possible without my dearest Alex, who didn't run as he probably should have, but has stayed steady and supportive from the minute I dared speak out loud this dream of writing. Thank you. I love you all dearly. Above all, I want to thank the factory workers, supervisors, and owners who granted me interviews or shared their stories in book, article, or documentary form. Every one of us benefits from their essential work and I can only hope more stories can increase our empathy for each other in this world. I would encourage anyone who is interested to seek more stories of migrant and factory workers. A wonderful place to start is the book Iron Moon, an anthology of Chinese migrant worker poetry. Thank you all so much. This is amazing. Fei Fei Gan Xie.